all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so listen man i'm gonna go ahead and keep it 1000 with y'all again i didn't do no research on this video i seen the title and press download came straight to y'all with it so we're gonna get straight into it so basically long story short the title said that a dispatcher got caught uh, i'm gonna say texting 16 i can say 16 here you know youtube got me over here contemplating if i can say anything that's crazy but yeah man long story short she got caught 16 seven different men at her job now she's out of line for doing this boy she's trying to throw a lot of cat to a lot of different dudes man which is crazy as hell there's too much going on to be popping cat for anybody you know <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get into this and see what the hell is going on with this horny ass girl and i want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section about the situation and everything that i am saying in this video is all speculations it's just my thoughts and opinions i can't speak none of this to be true but i am gonna give y'all my thoughts and opinions on it so yeah man all i want y'all to do is hit that like button for me Make sure I add up my social medias as well in the comment section. I'm dropping consistent content. All I ask y'all to do is hit that like button for me. And uh, yeah, man, add up my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that. And if you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video, just get up off of here. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn about y'all. The people who got something to say about me talking. But to my supporters, y'all know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. Just hit the like button for me, man, and add up my social medias as well. But anyways, man, squash all that. Let's jump into it and see what's going on with this horny-ass woman. New tonight, a scandal unfolding within the Bear County Sheriff's scandal. Office involving explicit text messages between a married dispatcher and several deputies. Who she married? Three people Poppin have Kay. already been recommended for termination. Jay Avila with the News 4i team says more deputies are under investigation. According to Sheriff Javier Salazar, the employees deny having sex or doing anything inappropriate while on duty. Somebody However, done got two it. Spouses who shared the text with Internal Affairs and with News 4 claim the messages show otherwise. Over 911 dispatcher Crystal Perez has been placed on unpaid administrative leave, along with Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Ronaldo Salinas and Deputy Juan Leal. <laughs> All three have received notices of proposed termination. Mm -mm. Their conduct, apparently, during the course of the investigation, was found to be egregious enough to where we would issue those proposed terminations. Many of the texts Damn. are too explicit for us to share. Sergeant Salinas to Dispatcher Perez. I feel so hot it's and sexy, sexy when I'm yeah. Perez. Oh, I can feel it. All of it. And I love it. <laughs> she said that cat over there throbbing, man. <laughs> <laughs> she said she can feel it over there right now. Oh my god, she talking grimy and she married now. I understand, you know what I'm saying. Some people go through relationship problems and they get them a little sneaky link or something like that. But I'm not saying it's right, but I do understand it. This right here is just blatantly out of line. Seven different men, and you talking about you like when somebody hold on, I don't know, hold on. So how sexy when I mean you. I can feel it. Yeah, she said she can feel it. Ooh, she talking like that in her goddamn husband in the other room. And she talking to multiple men about shit like this, man. Boy, that's crazy. Like I said before, if it's a situation where somebody married and shit like that, I don't condone it. I mean, do your thing with your own life and stuff like that. But when it comes to having multiple people, man, you tripping, bro. You tripping. You got the. I'm already feeling like if you do some shit like that, you need to be trying to exit your way out of the relationship. So if you already doing something and you choosing to stay in a relationship keep that shit to a minimum shit i heard going crazy boy popping all that cake gonna get aged just like that man you better slow down put that cat up somewhere and then me too y'all niggas man hey we gotta chill we gotta chill as me in this wheel too let's get into it yes we need another hotel day oh yeah he done Deputy got it lay all to dispatcher Perez. i can't wait for us to be naked and us caressing each other and then kissing each other all over mm. expletive Fuck yes, yes. She, she just loved my life and it was oh, man. very distraught heartbreaking i was in, in disbelief the dispatcher's husband john carlo perez discovered texts between his wife and six sheriff's deputies plus a city of converse police officer in december he gave them to internal affairs and an investigation was open these emojis uh, to reference body parts mm. and they would talk about you know kissing making out and why she ain't deleting this sexual shit. connections Perez took screenshots of the text from his wife's phone and many of the timestamps are missing so it's not clear if the texters were on duty but in one thread on a friday night at 10 20 p.m sergeant salinas tells dispatcher Perez, i get off at midnight came in early very mm. hard for me to read 
Oh, man. Jessica Jarvis is now divorcing a fourth sheriff's employee who is being disciplined. Investigator Jason Jarvis received a proposed suspension of 30 days. These are people that are supposed to be protecting us, supposed to be serving, you know, and, and making sure the community is safe. While details of the investigation remain secret, it does not appear anyone broke the law, but those disciplined allegedly violated sheriff's office policies. Certainly the case is being uh, taken seriously, and quite frankly, I, I believe uh, it's, it's, it's a quite possible that some people are gonna lose their career uh, as a result of this. Damn. It's still possible more deputies could be disciplined. The employees facing suspension and termination can also appeal their punishment. Jay Avila, News Force 911 dispatcher uh -oh. Crystal Perez has been placed on unpaid administrative leave, along with Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Ronaldo Salinas and Deputy Juan Leal. All three have received notices of proposed termination. Their conduct, apparently, during the course of the investigation, was found to be egregious enough to where we would issue those proposed terminations. Now, I don't know. Did, did, did this shit just play like this while ago? It's a little bit different wording or something. My mind's so goddamn bad, man. Y'all forgive me, man. We're going to watch the rest of this. It's like two or three more minutes left. But I'm glad they're running it back, so I ain't got to run it back if that is the case right now. But basically, long story short, what I was about to say was... You know what I'm saying? They said they felt like it was egregious enough. Now, them text messages can be one thing, but it's a lot of things that they're not going to tell us. We already know. And I already know somebody done tried to get their cat and shit and give it to them, and they probably hating hard as hell. <laughs> they probably telling everything that done happened, that they done heard and everything. You know how it'd be if you find out it's a flipper or something. This is what she is, a flipper. You know what I'm saying? And for those who know what that is, you know, she's giving it away to multiple men, and she will possibly do it with multiple ones at once, in my opinion. You know, it's all speculations now. I don't know if she will or not, but overall, man, you know, you you can hear about somebody being a flipper or women too y'all hear about a man who done bone somebody real good and you feel like they easy you holler at them and shit like that and um you know shit if they don't give you no play motherfucker get salty <laughs> start lying and telling everything you feel me gotta watch what you're doing you gotta stop being so damn sloppy well stop doing wrong in the first place but if you're gonna do wrong man stop being sloppy bro like damn you ain't thinking about your life can be taken with this type of shit that you're doing i be seeing people being in situations and taking shit lightly bro hell no nah. you shouldn't be doing it no way if if i mean if you are happy well you can't be happy if you're cheating in my opinion but you know what i mean god damn i ain't gotta break it down to no grown folks I man we already got a good understanding on everything but yeah man you know you gotta quit being so damn sloppy if you're gonna be out here doing stuff boy you putting multiple people's lives in danger people taking out kids and everything when they're catching people doing shit so if you're gonna do it make sure you're doing it the right way don't be out here doing no stupid ass shit yeah she was really tripping bro Many of the texts are too explicit for us to share. Sergeant Salinas to Dispatcher Perez. I feel so hot and sexy when I'm Perez. I can feel it, all of it, and I love it. Salinas, Ooh, we she need another I love hotel it. day. Deputy Leal to Dispatcher Perez. I can't wait for us to be naked and us caressing each other and then kissing each other all over. Mm. Perez, expletive, yes. She, she just loved my life and it was very distraught. Mm. Heartbreaking. Mm -mm -mm. I was in, in disbelief. The dispatcher's husband, John Carlo Perez, discovered text and six sheriff's deputies, plus a city of Converse police officer. In December, he gave them to Internal Affairs, and an investigation was opened. They used emojis uh, to reference body parts, and they would talk about you know kissing making out and all these like so just sexual connections Perez took screenshots of the text from his wife's phone and many of the timestamps are missing so it's not clear if the texters were on duty but in one thread on a friday night at 10 20 p.m sergeant salinas tells dispatcher Perez, i get off at midnight I came, came in, in early. early very hard for me to read yes it's a video Jessica Jarvis is now divorcing a fourth sheriff's employee who is being disciplined. Investigator Jason Jarvis received a proposed suspension of 30 days. These are people that are supposed to be protecting us, supposed to be serving, you know, and, and making sure the community is safe. While details of the investigation... They out there serving, all right. Well, she is for sure. She out there just doing the damn food. But overall, man, you know, I hated that video. I did play twice. <laughs> I didn't know that she was going to happen. I'm just downloading, like I said, while I go on my other video. But, you know, I feel like that when it's a situation like this, bro, you know, they should be fired instantly. It should be nothing to talk about. They own the job. 
like they said, well, like she said, you're supposed to be protected and serving. So why the fuck is you out here doing all this other stuff on the clock? Now, anything they do outside of work is on them, in my opinion. You yeah. know, I'm not here to argue with nobody about none of that. But like when it comes to them being at work, when they out here having lives depending on them, and the way the hell they should be able to keep on participating in work activities, getting a paycheck and all the other type of stuff with them actually being out here doing what the hell they want to do on the clock. You know, all these taxpayers' dollars is not going to them to go play and fuck around. You know, it's for you to get out there and really be trying to protect and serve and do what you're supposed to do as an officer. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, overall, man, she talking about she feel it all in and all the other type of stuff, man. Go ahead and divorce that lady, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and leave her where she at. It's seven different men she communicating with. That's what the damn title said about this situation. You know, but just two different men. Why you married? It's just out of line. You feel me? That's just how I feel about that whole situation. I hope that the lady go ahead and move forward with her life as well. You know, I feel like that these type of situations these days that's happening with these people that's in relationships and shit like that could be easily squashed. If you just go ahead and not get into the relationship or let somebody know how you are before you get into this whole situation, you won't have nothing to worry about in the beginning. But people be lying so much to the point where, hey, you don't know who to believe and when to believe them. But over time, you better believe it. If somebody put on a fake facade, it will start to leak out. You will see who they really are. And, uh, yeah, man, shit, you'll find out the real character of the person that you're dealing with, you know. But overall, man, that's all I got to say about this whole situation. I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. If you made it to the end of this video, y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you like my commentary, if you don't like my commentary, we don't give a damn. I'll holler at y'all later on another video, though. All right. New tonight, a scandal unfolding within the Bear County Sheriff's Office involving explicit text messages between a married dispatcher and several deputies. Officials confirm three people have already been recommended for termination. Jay Avila with the News 4i team says more deputies are under investigation. According to Sheriff Javier Salazar, the employees deny having sex or doing anything inappropriate while on duty. However, two spouses who shared the text with Internal Affairs and with News 4 claim the messages show otherwise. Overnight 911 dispatcher Crystal Perez has been placed on unpaid administrative leave, along with Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Ronaldo Salinas and Deputy Juan Leal. All three have received notices of proposed termination. Their conduct apparently during the course of the investigation was found to be egregious enough to where we would issue those proposed terminations. Many of the texts are too explicit for us to share. Sergeant Salinas to dispatcher Perez. I feel so hot and sexy when I'm Perez. I can feel it, all of it, and I love it. Salinas, we need another hotel day. Deputy Leal to Dispatcher Perez. I can't wait for us to be naked and us caressing each other and then kissing each other all over. Perez, expletive, yes. She, she was the love of my life and it was very distraught, heartbreaking. I was in, in disbelief. The dispatcher's husband, John Carlo Perez, discovered texts between his wife and six sheriff's deputies, plus a city of Converse police officer. In December, he gave them to Internal Affairs and an investigation was open. They use emojis uh, to reference body parts and they would talk about, you know, kissing, making out and all these, like I said, just sexual connections. Perez took screenshots of the text from his wife's phone and many of the timestamps are missing, so it's not clear if the texters were on duty. But in one thread on a Friday night at 10.20 p.m., Sergeant Salinas tells dispatcher Perez, I get off at midnight, came in early. Very hard for me to read. I can imagine. Jessica Jarvis is now divorcing a fourth sheriff's employee who is being disciplined. Investigator Jason Jarvis received a proposed suspension of 30 days. These are people that are supposed to be protecting us, supposed to be serving, you know, and, and making sure the community is safe. While details of the investigation remain secret, it does not appear anyone broke the law, but those disciplined allegedly violated sheriff's office policies. Certainly the case is being uh, taken seriously. And quite frankly, I, I believe uh, it's, it's, it's a quite possible that some people are gonna lose their career uh, as a result of this. It is still possible more deputies could be disciplined. The employees facing suspension and termination can also appeal their punishment. 
Jay Avila, News 4. Overnight 911 dispatcher Crystal Perez has been placed on unpaid administrative leave, along with Bear County Sheriff Sergeant Ronaldo Salinas and Deputy Juan Leal. All three have received notices of proposed termination. Their conduct apparently during the course of the investigation was found to be egregious enough to where we would issue those proposed terminations. Many of the texts are too explicit for us to share. Sergeant Salinas to dispatcher Perez. I feel so hot and sexy when I'm Perez. I can feel it, all of it, and I love it. Salinas, we need another hotel day. Deputy Leal to dispatcher Perez. I can't wait for us to be naked and us caressing each other and then kissing each other all over. Perez, expletive, yes. She, she just loved my life and it was very distraught, heartbreaking. I was in, in disbelief. The dispatcher's husband, John Carlo Perez, discovered text and six sheriff's deputies, plus a city of Converse police officer. In December, he gave them to Internal Affairs, and an investigation was open. They used emojis uh, to reference body parts, and they would talk about, you know, kissing, making out, and all these, like I said, just sexual connections. Perez took screenshots of the text from his wife's phone, and many of the timestamps are missing, so it's not clear if the texters were on duty. But in one thread on a Friday night at 10.20 p.m., Sergeant Salinas tells dispatcher Perez, I get off at midnight, came in early. Very hard for me to read. I can imagine. Jessica Jarvis is now divorcing a fourth sheriff's employee who is being disciplined. Investigator Jason Jarvis received a proposed suspension of 30 days. These are people that are supposed to be protecting us, supposed to be serving, you know, and, and making sure the community is safe. While details of the investigation...